Hello everybody and welcome back to some Nuclear Throne Ultra. We are back again and Nevernames has joined again. People requested Hi. it. So he is back. Yeah, Turtle wants to milk my fat teats for YouTube clout. I do, I do. So with this time as well, because he's here, uh, we can play a new character because he's going to draw the thumbnail for me because, again, he is my slave. And we're going to play Young Cuz. We're yes. going to play Young Cuz. More buddies means more ammo from pickups, find more HP chests, and click for little buddies. I'm kind of intrigued to know what that means. I'm guessing this means we can just make little Young Cuzes, which is... Yeah, we can. Oh, it, co it costs max HP. Oh, this is cool. I like oh, that's Oh, that's nice. Yeah, Young Cuz, uh, as far as I know, was a sea skin for YV during the development of Nuclear Throne. But I, I, I think he was eventually removed and just relegated to just sort of being on the couch in yeah. uh, YV's mansion, in YV's Ultra Mutations. Yeah, it's kind of interesting that he like to keep him, but remove him at the same time. Oh, that was just a really bad hit there. Oh, for God's sake. It looks like... I pressed the wrong button. It looks like his um his max HP is restored each area. Yes, you lose all your build, all your buddies. So I think two is the optimal amount of buddies. Yeah, I mean triple the amount of bullets. Pop, pop. Am I right, gamers? It's kind, it's kind of like rogue. It's, or is no. it rebel? It's it's red. I think you're about rebel. Uh, I always get those two confused. Rogue and rebel. Rogue. Robin rebel. Rebel better. I think eagle eyes. Because Eagle Eyes is buffed in this mod, it's way better. What is it? What does it even do? It shows you the contents of chests, like I can see this has got a shotgun in it. Oh um, god, well, you know how I see the contents of chests? I fucking open. open them. And it does some other stuff as well, it gives you like slight aim assist and stuff. It's, it's, it's good stuff. Uh, aim assist sucks. You suck. That's besides the point. So you admit it. There's no- Listen, there's nothing to be gained <laughs> in lying. I would just be- I would just be- Denouncing my credibility. Mm, I like yeah, I really don't see what the value is in being able to open chests before you see them because it's not like, it's not like chests and nuclear throne are locked. No, I know, I know. Um, it's just, it's just nice to have. Is it? Yeah. I guess you could use it to, like, abuse and, like, farm the big chests. And also, I took Eagle Eyes because we've now got three lots of shots, so it means that they're going to be more accurately placed. You have a crossbow. Yeah, at the minute I do, but I might not always. I'm thinking of the future. The future is temporary. Now is eternal. Oh my god, just flat 40 damage. Beautiful. I don't know, I just personally think, like, I when you have the option between between scarier face and uh, eagle eyes, you should probably go with scarier face. No. <laughs> no. Well, isn't this lovely? We're just gonna have a nice time, but Turtle has to play like an idiot, so I have to make fun of him and it's very tiring and he doesn't even pay me to make fun of him he's very selfish like that go on charge into the car okay, blow my, my, up. my baby's died whoopsie yeah you know like every fucking teenage pregnancy on tiktok <laughs> oh god that was uncharacteristically mean <laughs> i don't know where that came from it was listen beautiful. man i've got some demons i've got some demons man what the fuck what all the power just went out i think Oh shit, but you're still online, so it can't be in all the power. Maybe the light... The lights just all went out. But I'm still you're connected still here. to the internet. Yeah. Um... Intriguing. I think I'm going to be serial killed. <laughs> oh no. To be fair, what if that woman that, like, got drunk and stepped into your house was just casing the joint? She was just, uh, it was all an axe. You, you joke, but... Yeah, anxiety will make you think those things, won't it? I'm going to go see if any lights still work. Um... This is very strange. Uh, oh, if no. I die, contact the local police and use this in my, you know, <laughs> trial for... See, well, not my trial, to but me, the your trial. local police is just New Zealand. I don't know exactly where you live. Yeah, so. well, contact the New Zealand. 
Oh god, the light is flickering. Oh god. <laughs> oh god. It's so like the light is trying to turn run, And Never Named is literally about to be murdered. I'm being haunted. I'm being... Um, I'm going to, I think... Oh god, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go, uh, do some stuff. I'm gonna take off my headphones, but, um... <laughs> yeah, if you hear any spooky shit, like, if you hear, like, voices being in reverse or whatever, and, like, blood starts coming out of your headphones, just, it means like, let me know. Yeah, I I'll let you know. Yeah. Don't worry, I'll, I'll let you okay, know. Okay, I'm gonna go turn on some lights. This character is so fun. <laughs> this is, like, one of my favourite characters in the game now. More bullets is always my most enjoyable... Ooh, auto shoy. More bullets is always like one of my most enjoyable things in games, and this is this is a lot more bullets, so I am very, very intrigued. I hope Nevernem doesn't die, but if he does, we'll just enjoy New Clithron alone, I guess. I guess we'll just have to, won't we? There's not really much of a choice, really. Okay, the room lights are still working. It's just like the lamps all went out. That's Weird. odd. Okay, I'm out of ownership. Okay, I didn't actually consider the fact that it does use all of the ammo. Oh! <laughs> so it's, it's it's not as cheaty, it is just like pop pop, but... It's, it's better than pop pop. Than you pop. know what I mean. It's pop pop in that it uses ammo. Yeah. Does pop pop use ammo? Yeah, I don't know, maybe. It's been oh, a while since I've played, I was going to say YV, but since I've played Nuclear Throne. Yeah, so far, I, think though, this is cool. I am I am liking this a lot. <laughs> it's a really cool character. Um, yeah, probably a good idea to take back muscles. Back muscle, actually. Have you listened to the um to the actual like soundtrack of YV's Mansion? Not closely. I've heard it a bunch of times, but I've never really listened to it. Oh, dude, dude, it's great. It's it's literally YV just rapping. I love it. It's I, very, I heard like, people use it in, like, videos and stuff before as well. It is good. It's very stereotypical, like, SoundCloud rapper-esque, almost. <laughs> <laughs> Not to be, uh, offensive to the gun gods and or SoundCloud, but what is that car doing? The, the ghost is trapped around. in that car. The yeah. ghost that turned out all my lights is trapped in that car. Oh, little Clock -a -bucker. fucking boy. Die, little hunter. L hit you with, like, little 16, little fucking boy. Yeah. Beam shotgun. Oh! That's not oh. a beam. It's kind of a beam. It's a beam of shotguns. It's, a, it's just a lot of bullets. It's not a beam. Sure. Who's been lying to you? Fuck a fucker. This is pretty awesome. Bloodline. Holy crap. This is going to be very strong. Holy hell. Oh god, this is just that line grenade that you love so yep. much, but it's a blood it's explosion, a blood so it can't even hurt you. Because blood explosions don't deal damage to the player. Nope, they do not. So... They also destroy bullets, too. Oh, I didn't know that. Well, the little guys can pick up stuff. Apparently That's so. Neat. Man, I wish I had friends. <laughs> <laughs> they can pick up things for you. It's all they're useful yeah. for. Yeah. Like, I could ask them to go get the, like, the remote, Damn, and really they could be able to guy. find it. I wonder if the, the little guys get, like, other mutations, like, if they're affected by Gamma Guts. And that's what I was thinking. I'm gonna guess they are. If they can interact with things, I'd see no reason why they wouldn't. You should try and slam one into an enemy. Bullets. Also, maybe don't use the Blood explo Exploder, because you have no ammo, and it would probably kill you. Yeah. Oh god, I just got hit really hard. I'm about to die. Dude, I can't... You're moving too fast, dickhead! Okay, that's close. I believe this is what the kids call a skill issue. <laughs> skill issue. Skill issue. 
Okay. We're good, we're good. I'm, I'm really not, like... Yeah, I'm really not sure on the decision to put the, um... The lab before the crystal caves. I don't know why it's done, but I'm not. I, I don't hate it. No, I'm not like. It's, you know, it's not like fucking. You know, fending me on a deep emotional <laughs> level. It's not like oh, you know, it's not like the lab being before the um, the the crystal caves killed my parents. But ah, no, it's, no, it's just more like oh. I don't. I don't get it. What is this? This is the inverted floor. Oh, it looks hideous. It's, it's, it's basically like a much harder version of this floor. I killed myself because I uh, spawned 60,000 grenades on me. But there you go. Oh, I can't consider that stupid. You're kind of losing it today, aren't you? You're a little I am. loopy. Have you, have you taken your unspecified medications? My, my unspecified medication is caffeine. I've been off caffeine for a while now, so no, I haven't. I was I was gonna like be really funny there and say like something like Hebla Bibazol, but I couldn't <laughs> think of a random collection of syllables <laughs> fast enough, and so I just came out with random unspecified <laughs> medication. <laughs> you tried, but your brain was not fast enough. <sighs> yeah, I've been feeling that more and more in my old age. Ooh, this is saucy. This is saucy. But you really need like, uh... Um... Back muscle and... Yeah. Um... What's it? Uh... Recycle gland. Re recycle gland would be insane with this, yeah. Like on the last episode Just... I did, if you if you guys remember, I had those gyro things, that the little helicopters that shot. Yeah, I saw that. That was insane. Oh, what if you got that on this? Gland. Yeah, that would be nuts. But yeah, just like take mutations that increase your ammo efficiency. Like rabbit's paw would be good. Yeah, you're because right, it's right. more ammo drops. It's funny how I got you into nuclear throne, and now you are far more familiar with it than I am. <laughs> to be fair, it was kind of weird because like I played it because obviously you'd mentioned it, and a few other people had said you should try it as a series. And at the time, I had a series called like Rogue Like Roulette, where I'd just like play mini series on weekends for a few episodes and this was meant to be one of those series it was supposed to be i was going to play through every character twice i was going to like do a loop of the characters twice and that was going to be it um, but you sucked too much so you couldn't just do was, the loops in one episode that. it was for one uh, for one skull had just made such good thumbnails for it that i was like i can't really just like not use these they're incredible um, so you were so sorry you were uh, the only thing you need to say is, you play Nuclear Throne because of the sunk cost fallacy. Essentially, yes. But then also, obviously, I just ended up enjoying it a lot. Then when I got into modding, I was like, damn, the modding scene of this game is actually really, really good. So what does this insomnia do? Um, enemies are asleep for the first, like, portion of you entering the level. So basically, you get, like, ten, like... ten seconds of, like, free play when you enter a level. It's really useful. It works on bosses, too. And it works oh on God, a, that, it works that's on, a scary proposition. It works on IDPD, so if the IDPD PD spawn in late, they, they, they won't shoot you, which for me is perfect. I love that. Bounce, bounce a bazooka is a very scary idea. Yes, it is. <laughs> it's literally made to be a weapon that you can kill yourself with. Also, I do quite uh, enjoy um, oh, shit. the fact that he was not asleep. <laughs> Yeah, so, um... I, it's because I woke him up, because assassins get woken yeah. up, don't they? Last time, I remember you mocking a tooltip that said, assassins can play dead. Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, you know, maybe, maybe it's the hubris that killed you. Maybe it is. <laughs> I am a guru um, at heart. But yeah, that weapon you had... Uh, is clearly a ripoff of the spiral from Once More Into the Breach, and you, they can ex expect a cease and desist in the mail <laughs> in uh, four to twenty-six business weeks. Oh, by the way, I, when, when I posted your drawing of the uh, oopsie, um, of the last character, um, the hunter, they were like, "Can you do all of the drawings for all of the characters for us, please?" There's like sixty-four of them, but please. <laughs> what? <laughs> Oh god, if I started doing art for a nuclear throne mod, I think it'd kill me. 
But that's what I said. I was like, hmm, I don't know if that's a good idea. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm not even, I've not even like attempted the Nuclear Throne style yet. I did have an idea for uh, a few Nuclear Throne characters back in the day, but I never did anything with them beyond a few basic sketches. All right, what were they then? Well, one was uh, a character I based on the silhouette and the random option. Oh, okay. Who was a, cool. a character just sort of based on random bullshit. Like, you use your special ability, and a, it's just a random character's special ability each time you use it. That's kind of interesting. I, I thought that'd be funny. Yeah, that'd be kind of cool. The other one was like, um, this weird toad-looking thing. That uh, toad is in frog, not toad is in HELLO! Um, <laughs> but, <laughs> it's a weird toad-looking thing. And I realize that I sound like such a dork when I'm discussing modding ideas that I haven't even done yet. I know that I sound like a dork. Calm down. <laughs> I know. I'm acutely aware. Uh, but... Uh, the other one was this toad looking thing who had explosive explosion immunity. Uh, and could use his special to make his current weapon, whatever that may be, fire a projectile that exploded. Ooh. But uh, he could only hold one gun at a time. Ooh, okay, that is a trade-off, yeah. yeah explosion immunity and the ability to fire explosives but can only hold one gun because he only has one arm. Ah. <laughs> and I thought I thought that would be an interesting sort of trade-off. Like, I, I didn't really go anywhere with that because this was, I, this was before I even started modding Gungeon. So this yeah. was a long time ago. So I, I didn't even know where I would begin, and I still don't know anything about how Nuclear Throne works, or anything about, you know, enough about uh, how my brain works to know if I'd be able to do that. <laughs> like, I don't know what program, programming... Programming. Yeah, that, that's a, I, I am a programmer. Programmer sounds pog, like... I'm a, I'm do a know, plug you know, pro Program sounds like programming uh, fashion. It sounds like a fashion design specifically for programmers. Oh god, that Which probably just sounds, exists I gotta too. say, it sounds awful. <laughs> Isn't that just the socks? <laughs> yeah. I love the way they did the big dog intro there while he was literally just covered in poison. Um, but yeah, maybe I'll get into it someday, but ideally I want to just actually get to a point where I have the time for it because... I don't know, I feel like I, I have this really unhealthy like work loop of I will get obsessed with something. Oh yeah. And then I will just laser focus on it for like months or even years of my life and then I just am compl left completely without energy and can't do jack diddly isn't that shit. Just, like, isn't that just how your mind is predisposed to work though? Yeah, like, it's called autism. Yeah, that's what I mean. Isn't that, like, exactly how the autistic mind works? Ah, in a lot of cases. I'm not going to say all, because... Yeah, I'm going to say some Oh, God, I'm, I, almost, I almost made a really, really mean joke. Don't pull the autistic people. Oh, I mean, I... God, no, no, I'm not going to say that. Um... But, but, yeah, I, uh... I, I laser focus on stuff. And then I just get so burned out on it that I have to do something else. Yeah. Like as a as a survival mechanism. And oh, yeah, it's terrible. exhausting. Wow, that electric gun sucked dick. Yeah, I can imagine can it. Can I is. borrow it? <laughs> hmm. <laughs> oh, blood rifle! It's been too long since I saw that piece of shit. It's great. It destroys bullets. I mean, yeah, but at the same time, I don't I don't like the idea of a gun that will kill you, even though I've made several of them. <laughs> and also, I, I, I say that realizing that I have actively made I weapons in one's of the breach that will kill, kill you. Yourself, you know? I don't think all blood weapons kill yourself. I, th I think they do if you try to use them when out of ammo. Yeah, but assault rifle ammo is never going to be the case, really, is it? Yeah, but it might be. You were running out of bullets last time. 
I suppose, but I think I'll be okay. Ooh, this could be really good. All the back muscle is too good. Okay, well, you know, scratch what I said about ammo. It's about to run out. Let's find out if it kills me. It does! You're correct. I'm often correct. I'll I have, have no. I, I find it funny how you're still, like, spam clicking on these, um... On these, uh... Mini enemies, when with your all your added dudes, you're going to kill them in one click, but you're still clicking multiple times. Yeah, it's just habit, isn't it? And it's, I, I it's wasting it's, a lot of your ammo. It's very stupid, I realize, but it's fun. It is. It's just. It's I'm like just I said. <laughs> maybe so if you if you do start running out of ammo, maybe just don't do that. Yeah. So basically, any modded character and any modded thing, or, or anything in in roguelikes, my favorite thing will always be the ability to fire more bullets. Always. Noted. Right, I just need to check something. Okay, first of all, you need to die. That's fine. Um, what if I throw the obsidian knife? Ah, I was really hoping it'd just throw a bunch of obsidian knives and I'd have like an infinite source of them. Still. I wonder how they even made it not like do that. Yeah. Well, no, I guess throwing is actually like a a base game mechanic, so I guess they would have to consider that. I really want bolt marrow because I think it could be insane with this if I get a bolt weapon. Oh no, bolt! Even just with a basic crossbow, this would be insane. It would be absolutely nuts. It'd be like having a super crossbow really early on. Fuck super crossbows! It'd be like having the god of crossbows. Oh shit! Now I'm fully out of ammo. Um, bollocks. Oh. Uh, it's not like I'm gonna run out of the server for no more. I just gotta be fine. Where'd that knife I'm go? Where'd that be... knife go? It went, be ah. it went behind you. I've got minus one ammo. Go and to the left. It didn't throw it at him. I'm not gonna run out of the server for no more. Everything's gonna be A okay at the tournament. <laughs> By the way, you know what actually made me think that tonight would be a good night to record? What's that? I was actually coming home and I noticed that the clouds above my house had coalesced into the shape of the United Kingdom. <laughs> that's amazing. Oh, Which that's amazing. Um, either means I'm supposed to record with you or Margaret Thatcher has returned and we should all be very afraid. <laughs> Okay, let's be careful, because this stage is a bit... So spicy. that's what this is. I always thought this was a nighttime level. There is a nighttime level. Oh. That's, on a so maybe, so... that's, a, that's a different mod. Oh, well, even in your more recent videos, I thought this was a nighttime level. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, it's not. This is the inverted version. Well, I don't get why it... Look, I don't know. It feels a bit strange to just... Like, invert the color palette and be like, it's a new floor, guys. Well, it is a new floor because all the enemies are different. <laughs> you're, you're saying it like there isn't the only difference is the color palette. All the enemies have completely different attack patterns. I guess. And there's a new boss and everything. Like, I don't know. I feel like just the area itself could use a bit more distinct theming. Maybe. Oh. Look at him, he's a little dude. I was little trying ball. to get my little buddies to get around there, but I couldn't quite do it. Recycle gland. There it is. Yeah, maybe I'm just a, a heartless cynic who doesn't understand who doesn't understand proper art when he sees it. I'm just Go away, little maggot. Fuck you. I'm just a I'm just, you know, Hitler Shitler. I'm just terrible. True. True. But um I don't know. Time to do, time to make the inverted basement in Isaac. <laughs> what is that? What? The zappy thing that the was thing going that zap, 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 zabap. It modified my yeah. weapon. I added a, a weapon mod on. As you can see, there's a little thing here. Now I've got bouncer on this. So now when I kill an enemy, it fires off a bouncer round. What? Sorry. So why is it when you kill an enemy? Because it like because otherwise, if, if you could just add bouncer to all your shots, it'd be ridiculously powerful. Now it's just like a little extra addition. I guess. Honestly, I, Nuclear Throne is, is a game where 
weapon modification is so like possible, I guess. It that it feels like a shame that it's not more drastic. There is some that are more drastic. Yeah, I, I just like I don't know. One of my favorite things about watching modern nuclear throne videos is when it's like, okay, so I have this like quad I have the sex tuple assault rifle, and I've swapped out its bullets with fucking <laughs> death laser beams that transmute enemies into rocket ships or whatever. Yeah, you can and I, really I, I love that. Like that. I love that. So I don't know. I'm always a little bit disappointed when it's not broken, but I get. I understand. I get it. I get it. No, I get it. I get it. I swear I get it, guys. I swear I'm not. I'm swear I'm not angry and vitriolic and boiling up inside. I get it. Let's stick with the jawbreaker, actually. What even is the jawbreaker? It's a uh, like a. It's like a better version of the what's it called? Um, splinter gun. I see. Why is it called the jawbreaker? I have literally no idea. It makes no sense to me. But it's why good. not the mouth penetrator? <laughs> Oh, it's blue dog. He's dead. It's I blue. Lot, I have a lot of damage. Hey, there's splinter. our first clue. I can oh, add what splinter. do we do? I can add splinter onto my splinter weapon. Blue's clues. Oh, blue's clues was great. Yeah, and you just killed him. Whoopsie. Disc gun. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh no 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 disc gun please I can't wait to be shot in the back of the head by people I assume were my friends <laughs> in real life and the game charge shotgun no thank you oh shit look at all the bullets you're leaving on the ground that's a lot of bullets that was a quick flaw holy hell there it is <laughs> bolt marrow <laughs> Yeah, now you need, like, scarier face or something. Yeah. Or glass cannon. That just to, just to make it last longer. Yeah, make the ammo a bit more efficient. Glass cannon would also work quite well. Because, you know, I don't mean, like, ammo, but, like, having scarier face just makes weapons more viable into much later floors. Yeah, true, true. Like, it, it, it raises the drop-off point of a gun. Of any weapon, really. Maybe because it's a massive fucking damage up. That might be it. I, I, I'm saying this like it's sagely wisdom. <laughs> but when you kill enemies faster, it means you can use your weapon longer. Guys, I think I've cracked the code. I think you've got it. I think you've got it. No one ever knew that before. There it is. Oh, we're here. We are. Quadruple director shotgun. Oh my god. Psychedelic fuckland. Oh my god, it's these little card people, I love it. <laughs> this is it a teapot? This, it is a teapot. The teapot was not dead. This, this floor is really cool, I love it. Man, I want to play a whole game like this. Dude, ground vault stealing everything. Yeah, it's fine, I'll just crack it open, don't worry. Boom. Yeah, maybe sooner rather than later. I don't know how that modified version works, but like... See, the thing is, that's not actually a modified version. That's just a version from the early versions of the game, because this yeah, is I, based I on know. the early version of the game. I, I, I know. Oh. I just didn't think that the early, in the early version you could interact with it to crack it open. I know that the design is an old version of the existing design. Don't worry, I know. Cheshire Cat, how are you not dead yet? What the hell? Hey. The world works in mysterious ways, my friend. Bounce a laser pistol, that should be quite fun. How does a laser pistol bounce? You'll see, you'll see. These tooltips are uncharacteristically aggressive. <laughs> Dude behind you. Right behind you. Oh, that literally just teleports you what? onto the enemy. Oh, yeah, I love dying. 
It'll give you iframes, of course. Can this bullet be any slower? Fucking get out of my way. All the bullets in this area are slow. It's how they've always been. Yeah, but could they not be? Man, I wish the game wasn't the game. Uh, yeah, exactly. You Back in my day when the game was the game. You finally get me. Oh my god. I thought he was gonna die. He didn't die. You have grown. You have grown. What's the word? Fuck. I, okay, I'm forgetting <laughs> basic grammar. Oh god, spending time with you is rotting my brain. Yeah. Um. I've forgotten even my train of thought. It's just gone. It's have, just if you've gone. ever seen. Oh god, have you ever seen Sharkboy and Lava Girl? That segment <laughs> with the. Uh, the train of thought, like, crashing into the ice cream or whatever, that's just what happened to me. That's what happened inside my head. <laughs> Except instead of down. crashing into, like, delicious ice cream and, and cookies and, and so on, it crashed into a giant, like, rotting melon. My rotting melon. Yeah, and it's sort of wiggling there. Like, the back of the train is wiggling as though it's like a, a flagella of a living organism. Oh god, this is a vivid image. <laughs> Yeah, when's the last time you went to the pizza stores? Is there anything changed there? No, unfortunately not. The the old mod I used used to have a lot of changes to pizza sewers, but this one doesn't. Oh, uh, stinky. I do wish I do wish I could use both mods at once, but unfortunately, territorial expansion is like quite laggy and it's not compatible with this. Honestly, I feel like getting territorial expansion to be compatible with this. I, I feel like I, I rag on the devs with this a bit too much. It's obviously extremely impressive what oh. they've done here. Yeah. Like, it's it's genuinely massively impressive and I have huge props. I'm just being a negative little shitworm because Turtle likes to shit on everything I like, so I have to give him some, <laughs> you know, recompense. Even though this isn't mine. Yeah, well, you like it though, so I still have to shit on it. True. I do like this mod. But, yes, this is extremely impressive and I'm just, like, I feel like if the mods worked better with each other, it would encourage more people to play both of them. True, if true. If that makes sense. But, like, Nuclear uh, Throne Territorial Expansion hasn't even figured out how to not be laggy on its own, so I think making them work together is, like, going to be difficult. Yeah, I mean, I guess it's a, it would be a long-term goal, but in the long term, it would be really, really cool if mod compatibility would could be a goal, you know? Would could be. Hypothetically, in, a, in an ideal world. True. Do not fire this again, that would be bad. I've decided this run to go whole hog and just spawn as many minions as I possibly can every time. So your, your, your plan is melting but worse. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm a Euphoria fan, honestly. I like And Euphoria. Euphoria gets buffed in this too. Slow enemy bullets, what? one hit, you get a shot, invincibility. Bit more, you get a bit more iframes. Wait, what? Euphoria didn't need a buff. It did, it was awful. I hated you. I Euphoria never, was I, good! I never took Euphoria. It, it made, it made um, fighting the throne way harder. What? No. It I, did, the bullets were too you, slow. You they, they all stacked you up on too top. Slow? They, they were too slow, they ended up stacking on top just, of each other and it made just it... Just weave, weave around each other. We, each other, we were around them. Like, no, you don't understand. there's too many on screen. It makes it way harder than it has to be. You like, don't understand it's easier with it the than principles without. of bobbing and weaving. Tuck and roll. Actually, I don't remember. Are the names of the are the names of those guys bob and weave or tuck and roll? Of what guys? Um. Uh, the uh, the. Little dude summoned by. Is it Rogue or Rebel? I forget. I have no Who idea. Summons what the little I, I didn't Who even summons know... the. Rebel. I didn't even know they had names. Rebel. I'm pretty sure that they're named like. Maybe this was just something I read somewhere and isn't canon, but I remember reading that they were called like either. Bob and Weave or Tuck and Roll. <laughs> oh my god, I found a good combo here. Bouncer weapons with this are uh, pretty, pretty impressive.
I like it. Okay. Um, probably boiling vents actually. Cause it's such low health all the time. Yeah. Okay. I looked into it. The um, the first two allies summoned when you have the uh personal guard ultra mutation on on rebel uh are named bob and weave nice i just looked it up that is pretty but funny. i think that i've i've always thought that was cute yeah that is that is definitely cute i like that a lot when are we getting a standalone bob character <laughs> i want that standalone bob character win Devs of this mod, standalone Bob character. I want him. <laughs> They've got to make it now, do they? Yeah, they have to, because I don't know anyone who mods this game. So I just have to sort of scream into the void, and you are the void. Open up, sunshine. For a short time, Kilburn did some art for some of the mods for this game. Really? Yeah. I mean, Kilburn just sort of strikes me as a bit of a renaissance fellow. Ooh, we can sort of wrong sort direction. Of... What is that? It only fires left and right. That's taken from the wall ray from once more into the breach, stolen, expect DMCA <laughs> in your mailbox, up your ass, down your chimney. I will, I will, I will sue you until you have no snot left in your nostrils. I will take everything you have. You have I, have I made angry. my point? <laughs> I think yeah, so. I'm often angry. I'm always angry. That's my secret. <laughs> Funny Avengers reference. You're so unique. What do you mean quirky. Avengers? What do you mean Avengers? Hmm. Hmm. What do you mean reference? I like the way that with this, it just like, just a massive lasers all over the screen at all times. But it fires heavy crossbows too, so it's like, meant to be hard to aim, but you get a lot more power for it. Have you, um... Oh god. I think it's called Clucka... Uh, Mucka Blocker. Mucka Blocker? Yeah, it's this, <laughs> it's this joke song. Uh, that's really stupid. It's supposed to be like... It's supposed to be this like, uh, this joke song that's making fun of, like, this, like, hardcore rap, I guess you'd say. Um, but it's, it. it's, it's all chicken speak. So they're just going... And when you spawn all those minions, all I can think of is Mucka Blucka. <laughs> just sounds exactly like it. Yeah. Like, next time you spawn them all in, just listen to the sound it makes and you'll know exactly what I mean. Also, this area is new. This is the inverted uh, version of the uh, Dragon's Lair. Oh, nice. Yeah, spawn them all in and, and listen to what they sound like. Let me just kill this dude first so I don't die. Doesn't matter, I'm dead. <laughs> oh, no, do a new run there. Come on. You gotta listen to it. Yeah. <laughs> it does. How far yeah. can they get away from me? They, they just look like little eggs. They, they remind me of the clots from Isaac. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Alright, we'll do one more little run here because we're getting on for 40 minutes. And it, and they sound really, they, they seem really unwieldy to use in like the best way. Yeah, they do. They are, even. <laughs> I just, I love the just ridiculous screen shake they give you as well. Dude, like, I like love it. screen shake in games. I don't know what it is, but I always have that shit turned up. I love I, I, screen shake. To be fair, I don't often have it turned up high, but this is one of the games that I do like having it on quite high. I think there's an achievement in this mod as well for completing a run on 100% screen shake. Like, I think, oh, like 200% or whatever it is, like the max screen shake. Oh, dude, that's so funny. I should I should add that until once we're into the breach or something. <laughs> like, in Gungeon, turn screen shake up all the way. 300, 5,000% screen shake. You, you, like, 
trip over a stone and the screen <laughs> flies off into next century. That'd be amazing. It would. But yeah, I, I just like it because it makes everything feel a lot more hefty, have a lot more. It really does, yeah. It's it's a really it's a really like cheap and effective way of giving guns a bit more oomph. Cause I mean like you know, if if you like have ever been shot, it does you know, you do be a little bit shaky afterwards. <laughs> One of the key I don't know how many people out there shot. are really connoisseurs of, of being shot. I'm sure there's at least one viewer out there. Also, that's been you hit by left, for some you left a little guy right at the very beginning of the level. <laughs> just ditched him, and he was just he was just sitting there shooting into a wall for God knows how long. I think we've all been that little guy at some point <laughs> in our lives. Just confused. Your mum and dad have run away. Your brothers and sisters have ran too, and you just can't sit there staring at a wall. And some of us just sort of stare at walls recreationally. <laughs> I stare at a large, uh, a large, particularly dim wall named uh, the Turtle Melon. Hey. Let's put, <laughs> let's put Apocalypse Mode on. Oh, you know, why not? <laughs> what is the point? Funny. <laughs> yeah, I love crashing the game. It's, it's so funny. I, I actually had a build in one of my episodes uh, where I managed to get through three stages of Apocalypse. It was quite beautiful. But I think, I think that was. I think that was it's, just, it's just to see if you can, isn't it? It's just why not? Anyway, so we're going to leave off the episode there. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. A lot of fun to have Nevenim back on. And yeah, yeah uh, I'm trying to be. I'm trying to be less of a dick and it's evidently not working. It doesn't matter, people like I'm being a dick. Uh, oh god, yeah, you know, I have noticed that. <laughs> but anyway, hope you guys oh, enjoyed and we'll see good you in the Lord next Lord have one. I noticed that. Yeah, fuck <laughs> off.